twisted true story. After two years of working at KFC, I had just been promoted to manager. This meant I was on to bigger things, and a fatter paycheck as well, but the downside, from time to time I would have to let employees go, in other words, I had to fire them. One employee in particular was Adam. He was a very odd and creepy guy who barely talked, and he had made one too many mistakes, so I had to fire him, which he seemed very depressed about. One night, after I was closing up, I received a phone call from an unknown caller. I say unknown callers because they never said a word. We were used to getting strange calls at that hour. So I didn't think twice about it and went on with my work. 10 minutes later, the phone rang again, but still, there was no voice, except for the faint sound of breathing. I figured it was just some silly kids playing around so I told them to stop playing pranks, and if they didn't stop I was going to call the police. So they hung up the phone and I went on with my business. The next night while I was closing up, I saw a dark figure standing outside in the distance, and it was too far for me to make out who it was. I began to worry, so I tried to hurry as fast as I could to finish up my work so I could go home. The last thing I had to do for the night was stock the freezer. As I was stocking the shelves, I heard footsteps, then I heard the door shut behind me. I immediately got up and ran toward the door, but then I noticed it was locked. I yelled to whoever it was to let me out, but they ignored my request as I felt the temperature decreasing by the second. I knew that if I didn't get out of there that I would die within the hour, but there was nothing that I could do. 15 minutes later, my lips and my fingertips had turned blue. My entire body felt numb. And before I knew it, I had blacked out. When I opened my eyes, I was in the hospital and my assistant manager was there. She said that she had forgotten to clock out and that when she went back, she saw Adam driving away in panic and she knew something was wrong. So she called the cops. When they found me, I was laying on the freezer floor unconscious. If it weren't for Emma, I would be dead. <laughs>